Howdy folks, it's your friend, Fishing with Dom. I'm here in southeastern Michigan, Riverside, looking for smallmouth bass on this gorgeous mid-August day. So I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to continue off a recent video I had regarding two of my favorite smallmouth baits for rivers, just like this one behind me. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about tubes, and then I'm also going to talk to you about straight tail stick baits, Sanko worms, stick baits, cigar baits, whatever you want to call them, you know what I'm talking about. And you probably know how I'm fishing them already. In river situations like this, tubes mimic a lot. Gobies, the closer you get to intercoastal waterways for me, the more gobies you're going to see, the more smallmouth bass you will see feeding on gobies. A tube does an excellent job imitating a goby. It also does a great job imitating a crawfish and a bait fish as well. You can't go wrong with the tube. Now, this is the Cass River. I'm fishing it near Vassar, Michigan. And the smallmouth bass in here, they can get big, but for the most part, they're between 14 and 17 inches long, which is why I don't go with the biggest tube I can find. I'll go with something mid-size. This is a three and a half inch Berkeley power tube. Got a nice proportioned body to the tail. Uh, fantastic bait, definitely. Comes salted, comes loaded with the power bait signature scent. Uh, all in all, if you're fishing a tube bait for smallmouth, you don't have to use the Berkeley power tube. A tube in general works really, really good in situations like this. You're going to find these shallow flats and deeper pockets, and you're just going to cast out, bring it through the holes, and you'll catch, you know, a list of smallmouth by the time the day is over. Fish it on a jig head. Fish it Texas rigged if you'd like. There's no wrong way to fish a tube. I prefer doing it on the jig head, just what I'm used to. But tubes, fantastic option when you're out here looking for river smallmouth. Now, second of all, the stick bait. This is the five inch Berkeley Power Bait Max Scent General. I filmed a video about this bait already, and in that video, I caught myself a really nice smallmouth actually on this spot. But the only way I personally fish stick baits is to wacky rig them. I'll rig them with a one or two aught finesse wide gap hook or a VMC or owner wacky rigging hook. Uh, I've used the trocars before in the past before. They're really nice. But I'm not too hung up on what hooks I personally use when I'm wacky rigging. I focus a lot on the worm and the presentation itself. When the water's low... And I've got a lot of kayakers coming through every single day. I look at the presentation overall. I want it to look as natural and as finesse as possible. So I'll fish this on a six pound fluorocarbon, sometimes a real small micro braid, just hooked right in the middle. Or you can get a wacky rigging saddle if you've seen those before, the, the O ring, you know, without a doubt. And you're going to look for shaded areas, down logs, stumps, bridge pylons. Larger rocks, you toss this behind any of those locations that I just mentioned, smallmouth bass are going to be waiting there to ambush this bait. And what I really dig about the Max Scent General is how dense it is. It sinks very, very fast. So if you're up in some current area and you find a pool underneath the rapids, this will get down quick enough for you to efficiently fish the bait in that area instead of a slower sinking stick bait like the Yum Dinger. Now, I like the Yum Dinger, don't get me wrong, but uh, when I need to get the bait down and quickly, I love running this Max Scent General. Smallmouths and rivers, they aren't picky because a lot of situations, just like this river to my left, they've got to eat whatever they can get their hands on. There's not a lot of bait fish out here. Most of the time, they're feeding on crawfish, they're feeding on bugs. You rarely see minnows or uh, accessible forage to smallmouth bass. But tubes, stick baits just like this one, fantastic choices if you're hitting up your local river. But until next time, if you have any questions or comments about anything I've said, please let me know in the comment section below or on my social media handles, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Fishing with Dom. I would really, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.